What's up guys, Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and I have my beautiful motley cow albino het leopard boa a female who just had a litter. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we found it. We came in here this morning and I uh, was just opening boa tubs because this is the time of year that we get boa litters, and she did great. Um, I'm not gonna even spoil it, but I'll show you what she had. Um, you know, sometimes you know you don't always get everything perfect but when you get babies that are alive and they look really cool that's what it's all about and so today we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at uh, her babies plus we're going to take a look over the weekend my kids and i were playing with annie hall the anaconda that was kind of cool and we were looking at some of the snakes that they like in my collection so we'll check those out as well hope you guys had a great weekend let's take a look at this girl's babies <laughs> We got another boa litter. That's always good news here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. And that is my motley call albino het leopard female that I bred to a leopard het albino. And we got a lot of goo here. Uh, I was just taking a routine check. There's a couple dead ones, but there's a couple infertiles. But we have some cool stuff. We have some albino leopard stuff. I see we have, um, here's one. There's a, an eclipse head albino there that's kind of slithering away. Uh, we're gonna have to go through the goo, pull out the good ones, and then I'll have to show you what we got. I can't even believe it. This girl slugged out last year, end of the year. I didn't even think she was gonna breed. I got her up to size. It's April, I just threw a male in just to be shits and giggles, just to, as an experiment, and they're locked. Who even would even expect that? Crazy. Never thought she'd, I'd see any action. Super fire, though a female to a um, fire male. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Trying not to uh, just open the tub up. There they are, you can see them locked. So you're getting a crappy view and crappy video just because I don't want to open up. I'm filming through this piece of plastic. All right, I'm gonna leave them alone. All right, guys, my son Logan is filming us. We have yes. Annie Hall, the right anaconda here. here. Aria, you want to touch her? She's gotten big. I had, remember guys, I've had this snake since she is a little peeny tiny baby. And she, remember she just was only eating chicks, now she's eating medium rats. And she's putting a lot of size on here. Let's see, hopefully Logan's doing a good job. Don't move that around too much. We love this snake. This is, the anaconda has it's the- It's really um, gorgeous. It, it is gorgeous. The anaconda has the ability to get, to be the thickest snake in the world. It's not the, necessarily the, the longest, but it can be the heaviest. Cause you see how thick that is? Grab that, see how strong she is. That's a lot of muscle there, right? I told them before. You can feel, you can feel it, Logan. What? Oh, filming <laughs> Logan's filming and trying to touch the snake at the same time. All right, well, you, we'll let you hold him after. All right, guys, well, I just wanted to show you a little update on the Annie Hall, the anaconda. She's doing great, and uh, eventually we're gonna put her in a nice big enclosure one day. All right, Logan and Ari are here with their favorite albino in my collection section, albino hep hide. Um, Tell me about the albinos, guys. I have red eyes and it has white things right here and yellow things right here. Do albinos ever have black? No. no. That's right. Why? Because albino takes away the black, right? Yeah, because boas oh. have black eyes. <laughs> That's not why. All Look albino animals have red eyes, right? He... Look how gorgeous he is. Yeah, she, he is very gorgeous. Look at that. He is really gorgeous. You like holding that, Ari? You're I very brave. Logan was too scared to hold him. You want? Why don't you show him how you hold him? Like this. I Let Logan hold. Get a hold on him. No. <laughs> Sibling rivalry fights. All right. Good job, guys. All right, guys. That's gonna do it for today. Uh, this girl did so good. I'm so proud of her. She, you know, it wasn't as many babies as I would have liked. But, you know, I was telling Pablo. You know, sometimes it's it's good not to get 25, 30 babies because. It's a lot of, that's a lot of mouths to feed. I'm pretty happy with what we got. It was a pretty good clutch. We got some really nice albino stuff, some he, uh, albino leopard. We're gonna have to let that stuff shed until we find out exactly what we have. But I see we have some motley albino 
het leopard stuff. And then we got one of the eclipses, which was really, really beautiful. So I'm pretty happy. I know a lot of people out there have been asking about leopard stuff. And so we got leopard stuff, you guys. Uh, everyone's gonna be very happy because I had a bunch of people waiting for some cool leopard stuff. I also have some eclipse stuff still available. So I don't think I have listed it. I'm gonna try to list it this week. I do have some male and female eclipses um, that are head albino from two years ago. I just, I, I couldn't, I wasn't going to keep them and I'll probably let some of those go. Actually, I think some, I think those are her babies actually from two years ago. So she did good. You know, and she's one of my sweetest snakes uh, that I have. And, uh, you know, once again, when you, when you produce, uh, when you have a snake that, that really, you know, does well and year after year and she's, she's, this girl's never struck at me. She's a very sweet boa. Um, this, this is what the hobby is all about, you know. Yeah, it's great to produce baby snakes, but it's also nice to have something that, you know, you can take out and show your friends, and it's a beautiful pet, and she's actually very, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's a little depleted now from having her babies, but I guarantee you in a month after she eats a couple of meals, she'll be right back and ready to go for next year. Usually I give these Colombians, these big girls, a year off now, but these girls, this girl will breed year to year. I know she will. She wants to, she gets her size back pretty good, but you know what? She's getting a little older now, so every other year is fine, you know, sometimes not good to just produce boas for the sake of having boas. You want to have some, some healthy babies in there too. All right, guys, you know what to do. If you're enjoying all this programming, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.